following on the footsteps of the, the tragedies in Flatbush. In Borough Park this past Shabbos, we had two fires. One was on my street. It was a terrible awakening, very terrible, but Baruch Hashem, everybody came out alive. This book from the Klosenberger Rebbe of the War Years was brought, my son brought it to me. Why? Don't know. He's a child, but he brought it out and he showed me this book. It was full of ashes, as you see. It was wet. It was stinky. And um, so I put it on the dryer to dry out, and I'm going to give it back to the owner. However, um, I want you to know that it turned to, when I opened it up, it turned to chapter 2, page 33. And look what is said here. Behold, days are coming. I won't read all of it. You can read it. You can pause the video. But it says here that the Rebbe said he spoke of the need for both men and women to be more vigilant and observant of the laws of modesty and warned of the terrible decrees that were likely to come. Now, this, this bothered me greatly. This is a message. A message from the Rebbe that was saved from the ashes of Auschwitz. And now his book is saved from the ashes of the of the home that went up in flames, and it's a message to all of us. Every one of us, when tragedy comes our way, we have to look and see why. What can we do to better ourselves? Now, um, I'll give a little mooser, who am I? But you can listen to the sheer above my post, Rabbi Yosef Misraki, who said that we sin. When tragedy comes, it's because of us. We sin. And these women, these this family, all these families that were in this house, they were all sadikham. Sneas, the way they spoke, the way they dressed, everything was sneas about them. But I have to say that when you go on to, to Facebook and to Instagram, what do you see there? You see so many things that are not sneas, unfortunately. And we have to do something. We have to do something. You have to wake up, ladies. You have shaitos that are down, I'm not going to say where, very, very long shaitos that are not sneas. And they're drawing attention and you're letting men gaze at your faces and your bodies when you're on Instagram. What is this? What is this? Please, please awaken yourself and see the damage that you're doing. And let's better ourselves. This message is for me and it's for everybody else also.